Okay. Hi, Tubers. Um, basically, my parents getting divorced, hence the title of this video, um, called Divorce. Um, basically, they're getting divorced. They have been technically divorced for, I'd say, about 10 years. Well, they're still legally married, but they don't like each other. They don't get on, they sleep in separate rooms, they love any opportunity to attack each other, um, things like that. Basically now it is official. Um, they are getting divorced. Uh, I'm not sure where I'll be living, uh, but of course this vlog will come with me. Because, well, I might be offline for quite a while. Um, not right now, but in a few weeks I might be offline for quite a while while we get the housing situation sorted. So, um, yeah, my inbox is usually quite full, so um, it, I'm, if I don't reply to you, I'm really, really sorry, because I, ju I just get so many messages, I don't have time to reply to them all, um, although I love everyone who takes the trouble to send me messages, um, it's a really lovely thing to do, and, you know, thanks so much for that. Um, so, yeah, basically my parents are getting divorced. I'm not really sure how I feel about it because I'm so used to them being so separate from each other and not liking each other that um, I don't think it really bothers me that much, if you get what I mean. I mean, it'd be a relief not to have the fighting. I mean, I like the drama of a good fight, but fighting like all the time is just... Ugh. And um, it'd be nice to live in, you know, on peaceful ground for a while. It might do me some good as well because, you know, I not from the most stable of backgrounds. Um, what basically happened was uh, my mum went running over to my school, just behind me, in tears, to the reception, um, because apparently my dad tried to hit her. Um, she often gets these moments of, sort of mad, kind of... Um, she goes off on one, if you know what I mean, and... <laughs> I don't want to talk too much about it on here, because I don't know who will dig this out. Um, I remember last time, the legendary vlog about my parents got dug out, not only by the school, but by my actual parents. Uh, yesterday I went to the synagogue. Yes, I went to his synagogue, me doing something religious. Um, it was quite fun, actually. Um, we met up with a few families that we haven't seen for a while. Um, we went walking along Bournemouth Pier. Um, of course, I wanted to wear a kippah, but I, I didn't think that was possibly a good idea, you know, with, like, religious people everywhere. So, um, you know, I didn't understand a lot of what went on with, like, the Hebrew. Um, I only know rudimentary Hebrew. Um, but it's really, it's a lovely service to go to, it's sort of, it's, it's just sort of, it relaxes you. And, um, it makes me feel, it makes me feel more in my roots, my Israeliness. Um... Yeah, I was actually born in Israel. A lot of people ask me that. Born in Tel Aviv in Israel. Um, 11th of September. I know my birthday is the 11th of September, 1992. Um, Tel Aviv. Um, other bits you probably don't know about me. Um, I've been to, in total, over 12 different schools. Um, my shoe size is a UK size 8. Uh, my clothes size is a UK size 10. Although, you know, I prefer to wear black clothes. But, um, anything else stupid about me? Oh, yeah, I have double jointed thumbs. They bend kind of weirdly. Um, I'm a self taught musician and artist. I've never had any lessons in what I do. Um, I think lessons would usually with a person like me because I'm so stubborn and sort of self minded. Lessons never do me any good anyway because I just go on my own, I go off on my own thing and I, I don't listen and I'm, I'm a total pain in the fucking arsehole actually, probably to teach. Um, you know, yeah, I've got a listening problem, I've got a society problem too. Uh, that reminds me of a um, quote I heard from Oscar Wilde. Um, I went to an art exhibition yesterday in Bournemouth and um, I came across this book and it had like a little comments from um, people, famous people, and um, one that stuck out to me is Oscar Wilde, who said that society is a state of mind, it's not an actual thing. In reality, every person is an individual. And that 
in short, just sort of confirmed, you know, it worded what I've been sort of thinking. I, I couldn't find a way of expressing it, and that's it. You know, it's it's not a thing that can be defined. Like it's the like the word normal. You can't define the word normal because everybody's got their quirks and their differences. And I suppose a normal normal means just stripped of everything, doesn't it? It's, but even that is unnormal. It's just normal isn't really a definable thing. So. Um, yeah, I've got society problem. <laughs> Everyone knows I've got society problem. Um, you know, I get some bad press for it, but at the end of the day, I really, I, I don't care. Because I spend so much time sort of trying to be an individual that, what's the point in trying to be an individual and then just getting put down for it and then feeling bad about it, you know? I, I don't give a shit. And, um, that just confirmed to me that society is not an actual thing. So technically I have a problem with nothing, and no one, which means I don't hate anyone. Um, I also wanted to send a message to Storifantus, by Count Storifantus, on his gender vlog. I loved it. I loved every word of it, and I've watched it four times because I loved it so much. And he speaks so much sense in that vlog. Um, everyone watch it. It's on his channel, which is by Count Storifantus. Um, I think he's brilliant. Um, it's all about gender and how he feels comfortable being a male who wears makeup and it's basically the same thing. And in every other species, apart from being human, um, it's always the males that pretty themselves up for the females. Fact. <laughs> I, I, although I already watched a video um, of an interview with Marilyn, you know, Boy George's Marilyn, the calling your name guy with the long blonde braid. Um, yeah, he did a video that said something similar. So I'm wondering if Strafanthus was influenced. Strafanthus? I'm so sorry. I have to say this, and even though I, I classify myself as straight, have you ever seen someone who looks so flawless in your entire life? I'm sorry, but he is depressing me. Flawless. You just, you have to see him, okay? But, um, depressingly flawless. Take that as a compliment if you're watching. Um, Yes, I left your comment saying something along those lines. Um, what else? Bada boom, bada boom, bom, bom, bom. Release a new video. Had lovely new comments for that too. Um, yeah, I've been feeling a bit ill the last few days. I woke up kind of late today. Um, I, I get, I haven't, does anyone else have a night time problem? Like, we we go to bed and you sleep and, um, you can't sleep, and you sleep, and you wake up, and you think sort of really weird things, and you can't sort of quite, um, so sort of you cry, and then you scratch your legs, and sort of, not, they're not itchy legs, it's just like you, it's sort of like self-harming, but you don't realise you're doing it, because you're kind of half asleep, and then, you know, I often wake up with blood and everywhere, and wonder how it got there, and then I see scratches, and it's weird, and <laughs> I sound like a werewolf, <laughs> I'm not a werewolf, everyone. Um, I have a feeling I'm coming across as very weird in this vlog, I don't know why. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit weird today, actually. Um, sorry about that. I mean, what have I just... <laughs> what have I... I might rename this vlog not the divorce vlog, but the weirdness vlog. Um, just basically, I better shut up before I say anything, any more embarrassing things about divorces, or scratching myself in the middle of the night, or synagogues or depressingly flawless by Count Okay, I'm just gonna go now. Okay, ta-ta lovers. Ta -ta.